Well, the second booster jab, get ready, because it is coming to the U.S. very soon. And the Pfizer CEO talked all about it. And we're going to get into the specifics of that here in just a second, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, more the glasses because I'm blind. Also, guys, if you could consider making a generous donation here to our ministry, you can help us out on PayPal or Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Sign up there, get access to our bonus content. We also include the links to the YouTube videos so you get alerted every time new content arrives. You can also comment there, censorship free, send direct messages. Don't forget as well, sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off YouTube. We already post there anyway, so go check it out. All the links down below. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So let's just take a look at Omicron, a little history of it here. Because if you remember when it was first announced, it was the day after Thanksgiving, okay? It was Black Friday is when it was announced, right? And how fitting was it that they chose this day of all days to all of a sudden report on this brand new variant that had come out that they were very concerned about, which by the way, if you remember, many of the people that had tested positive for it uh, were those who were fully jabbed, okay? So this is around November 26th, somewhere around that date. Now, as of right now, the time I'm recording this, it is January the 10th. So not even two months after Omicron was first reported, Yet, the Pfizer CEO sat down for an interview and said that they have developed a Omicron-specific jab that will be released in March. And, and I'm, I, 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 by the way, now, that's not March of uh, 2023, 2024, 2025, 26, so on and so forth. No, no. March of 2022, as in Two months from now. Hmm, interesting. So, and I'm not, I've never been the best in math, but let's just let's just do a little bit of math if we can. Okay, so if we're gonna go back to November. Okay, we have what? December, January, February, March. Is that four months? I mean, like again, I'm not the best in math, but you guys can confirm. Is that four months? Four months? I think it is. I mean, he didn't say the exact date, but. Just that by March, it will be fully ready to go. He even called it new and improved. That this jab that will cover all the other variants too will provide the ultimate protection. The, I, mean, I thought that's what the original ones were supposed to do. But this one now, oh, this was new and improved and will be ultimate protection. Now, let's also remember the symptoms of Omicron. Sore throat, runny nose, headache, fatigue also known as the common cold. Now, two years ago, you would have took a little swig of NyQuil and you would have been fine, Mary, and just on your way, just fine. But no, 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 now we apparently need a booster jab for the common cold. <laughs> and no doubt that the answer to any future virus, any variant, will always be another jab. Remember, Operation Warp Speed. Who championed that? That was Trump who championed that. And he these were his words himself on the Candace Owens podcast that this would have took five to seven years to develop a proper jab. But thanks to my administration, we got it out in less than a year. As if that was something to be proud of. And they did. And look what it has spawned since. And now after just a month and a half of the Omicron being released, Pfizer is telling us that they'll have a jab for that in four months since the time it was first announced, two months from now. Hmm. Is it just me or does anybody else feel like this new Omicron specific jab will be mandated upon everybody? You know, I just talked about how in New York, Kathy Mandate, the governor, I'm sorry, Kathy Hochul, I always, I always get that confused, how she mandated that all healthcare workers receive the booster jab within two weeks of becoming eligible. So that being said, 
once this new Omicron jab is out, oh, rest assured, that one will also be mandated as well. And there will just be no end in sight. You will never be fully jabbed. And that's the reason that, that Fauci has said that he is no longer referring it to being fully jabbed because you're never going to be. There's never enough jabs they can give you. But no, now the correct term is just up-to-date shots. Are you up-to-date in all your shots? Oh, you're not because you don't have this new Omicron booster jab. So no, I'm sorry, you're not up-to-date. I mean, you can't get into this business now because of that. You can't get into your workplace. You can't get into this restaurant. You see where this is all going, ladies and gentlemen? These people are never going to stop. <laughs> this is all leading, of course, towards Revelation chapter 13 in the Mark, that the Antichrist is going to force upon the entire world, and no doubt that we are on the doorstep of that. Look, if you want to see the full interview here with the Pfizer CEO, I'll put that link for you down below in the description. And I encourage you to share this video out there with others as well. Uh, we need to let people know about what's happening. But as I mentioned, we're in the last days. And this is not going to stop until Jesus comes back. But here's the thing. He's coming soon. That's the good news. Is that the more that, of this that we see, this evil and everything that's happening around us, that just means that we're just that much closer to the return of Christ. And maybe... You have not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. If you haven't and you would like to, well, I would love to pray with you right now, lead you in a prayer to get you to accept Christ. You could do this prayer in your own words, but I'll give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. Now, the first thing that you want to do right off the top is to acknowledge that you're a sinner. That's something that we all are, but God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He wipes that sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this for you guys down below. Uh, like I mentioned, the link to the video with the Pfizer CEO, you can check that out. Don't forget as well, our links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.